Coming to you live from Dell with Mr. Mark Shuttleworth. Mark, how you doing? Great, Bob. How are you? I'm doing very well. So, hey, well, thanks for stopping by today. And you guys are on sort of a U.S. tour, and you just came back from CES in Vegas. In Vegas, indeed. We were launching the Ubuntu television. Uh, TV for human beings. TV for human beings. So, so it's, it's yeah, tell us about it. Yeah, it's just the, the Ubuntu experience transformed and contextualized for TV. Uh, we've taken a very media-centric and online service-centric approach, and uh, it was really re well received. We had a beautiful little stand and uh, lots of foot traffic, interesting people coming by, and uh, and lots of interest in, in in the TV experience, which will also be on the laptop. So. Um, at least, at least in demo form for 1204, people will be able to sit back and, uh, and watch TV on their laptop. And so this is then tied back to the cloud? And what is sort of the secret sauce or what's the difference that, that you guys offer as opposed to Google TV or Apple TV? Or um, So uh, Ubuntu One is pervasive. Ubuntu One is integrated. So the, your, your sort of personal data, your personal cloud is reflected on the television, which is fun. Um, the experience... Uh, we think is is very nice and competes very favorably with the experiences from the Google team. Um, the way we've positioned Ubuntu for industry is a little bit different, and we're very interested in being a bridge between people who are content distributors, you know, the cable companies, satellite companies, and so on, uh, online services, um, and the TV manufacturers. Um, and uh, well, all in all, it's fun. You know, it's it's been interesting to see. Um, just how much excitement this has generated amongst uh, people who are open source people. Um, I didn't realize how many of us have been tinkering with TV on a PC, you know, you know essentially PCs hooked up to our TV, which we use as PVRs and, and all of that. But this is, uh, it turns out that there's lots of us that, that like that. And, uh, and kind of connecting the dots between Unity on the desktop and Unity on the TV has been, has been a lot of fun. So for people who aren't aware of, you mentioned a couple of things there, Ubuntu One and then Unity. Just a quick overview of what those are. Sure. Ubuntu One is a personal cloud service like iCloud, like Microsoft SkyDrive. Um, and it, it simplistically, it's just about getting content and settings across all of your devices replicated smoothly. So you, 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 you buy some music on your, on your laptop and it's suddenly available on your other laptop and you can stream it to your phone. Um, it's unusual in that it covers multiple OSs, so it's deeply integrated into Ubuntu, but there's also a client for Windows, there's a client for iOS, there's a client for Android, so you can get that same bit of music on your iPhone or, or on your Windows PC. Um, and it's also unusual in that there are a set of services layered on top of that basic sort of content capability. So, you know, if something's music, then we know, know how to stream music. If something's video, then we know how to, how to handle video. Um, and I guess the third way in which it's unusual in that it's, it's more open than most of the cloud um, offerings out there. Um, everything that ships to users is open source. Um, and the, the infrastructure itself is designed so that there isn't any secret data. So we don't have any data that you don't have of yourself, which gives you more flexibility to do the open source thing and go off and do what you want with your own stuff, which is right. Um, and it's more extensible, so you can add um, your own services to it in without necessarily having to negotiate with us. So we, we like all of that. And Unity? Unity is the work that we've done to um, revision the, the, the interface. We started that work um, uh, two, three years ago as, an, as a continuation of work we were doing around Linux on netbooks, Ubuntu on netbooks. And we learned a lot um, from that process about design, about user testing, about understanding where users were getting stuck. That work grew into Unity, which is our new desktop interface, launched in 11.04, and, and we're coming up for the first kind of major release of that to a very widespread audience with 12.04. Um, we really simplified the desktop. We focused on, on bringing to the front the key things that most users are using all the time. Um, it's somewhat controversial because it's a big change on, on the traditional desktop uh, that, that, that Ubuntu started with. But when we test it... When we test it uh, with, you know, independently, we get independent groups to sit down with independent users and show them different interfaces that are available. Unity really shines, comes out, comes out very nicely, comes out on top. Um, uh, a lot of the design thinking um, was based on this idea that we wanted, from the very beginning, to have a family of interfaces from the phone, through the TV, through the tablet, for the PC. And that, that family needed to be 
respectful of the fact that each of those form factors are different. Um, so those are not the same interface. But then we wanted to echo things that, that, that could echo neatly from the one interface to the other. Uh, so people who look at our TV and people who look at the PC understand the relationship between those two. And hopefully people feel the same way about um, the tablet and the, and the, uh, the phone interfaces when those are public too.